The blacksmith is a building located in the middle of your hive. You unlock it at caster level 8. With enough materials, your smith can forge equipment or craft materials to increase your strength. At level 17, you unlock your second accessory slot, which can be filled with a ring or a necklace. At level 25, you unlock your third accessory slot. Every blacksmith level increases your forging speed. Under the blacksmith tab, you will find the options to forge or view your inventory. Under the forge button, you will come to a menu consisting out of three tabs. Forge equipment, where you'll find all the sets you can forge. A reward calendar, where you can find which rebel leaders will drop which items for a 12-day section and collection bonus where you can view all the bonuses of the set. For every player it's advised to start with a rookie set called the Champion Set. You can get this set for free by gathering resources and it gives a massive boost to your overall set performance. All maxed out, your soldiers deal 12% increased damage and have 8% increased defense, as well as 3% increased health. It also boosts your construction speed and research speed by 24%, gold dragons by 12% and your training speed by 4%, as well as other small bonuses. Not to mention all the badges you can put in there, but more over badges soon. When you have all the items at a certain quality, you unlock the sets bonus. Sets bonuses always apply on the lowest quality item from that set. So if one item is still grey, you can only get the grey set bonus, if it exists. However, set bonuses apply to all your stats all the time, even when you don't equip any of the items and even if your lord is captured or killed. For example, the rebel's end set. My lowest quality is blue, or rare. So my set bonus is 1.82% Lord XP bonus and 1.25% Gold Dragon production bonus. Another rookie set is the new Lord set, which you can obtain by making your first deposit so it's not free to play, but comes from certain events like recharge gifts or winter supply packs. The links are in the description for these events. With exception from the glorious sets, which are pay to win sets, you can get all the sets by hunting down rebel leaders. Besides the champion, a very impressive set is the maester set. This set, when equipped, can give you a massive boost towards gold production. Up to 80%. This is the set you want to wear when you are going to sleep and your mints are producing full speed. So when you wake up, you'll find another 7 million gold added to your stash. That brings us to the reward calendar. As you progress through the game and become stronger, you'll find yourself stockpiling motivation items and buying them, for example in the VIP shop. Decide a set for yourself which you want to pursue, stock up motivation items and you can even wait for events where you can double rewards from rebel leaders. This often comes from a recurring event called the Seven's Blessing. Of course, lastly, you want your accessory set to fill those three unlocked accessory slots at the blacksmith level 25. They drop from rebel groups in general, so you automatically farm those as well. Just like the champion set, it will boost your city overall output. That brings us to the second button, Inventory. Here you'll find all the equipments and items you gathered and crafted in your life. With the exception of commander items, you'll find those in the commander tab from the bottom menu. As you progress through the game, you'll find most materials in chests. For example, often found in the Westerosi Navigator as well. If you can stack up 24,000 blue diamonds, you can even do a full legendary run. Many other events give them as well. But first, you need to save all your blue diamonds for the most important buildings. Bannerman Hall, Dungeon and the Hall of Faces. Don't spend them on anything else, you will halt your progression a lot if you do. One of the best things in the blacksmith is that you can combine weaker items to make bigger items. And that is essential to get your sets to the maximum level. For materials this is nice. But for badges this is amazing. This way you can get the ultimate badges. There are many ways to get badges. They will give the most massive boost to your army if you have your lord with it. In both attacking as well as defending your city. Always buy the blue badge chest from alliance coins. There is no other good way to spend them. Buy them from events. If you have the VIP level, buy them from the VIP shop. You can even buy them from Blue Diamonds. Then slot your inventory with the strongest badges you can find. Badges are the slowest to progress if you don't focus on it. You can always unequip a smaller badge to quickly help merging it into a bigger one. There is not much research related to the blacksmith, but equipment archive in advanced military is a must have for a mid game player. This will allow you to quickly swap equipment sets for when you need to go to research, go to war or want to gather resources or boost your resource production for a while. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about the blacksmith. Don't forget, badge chests are incredibly amazing. Lastly, do not focus on the wall badges right now. The wall currently is in a very bad state in the game. If you enjoyed this tutorial about the blacksmith, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your alliance. Share all the tutorials I make so other people see and benefit from it as well. Thank you so much for watching.